this lesson is uh, part 11 of the chapter 4 part of the book and we've just kind of finished up this part on 160 on page 164 and now we're going to get to the point where we do the interior walls for the for the house so uh, this part of it right now which is kind of a, a building exercise we're going to um, get rid of that so I'm going to close this and I'm going to I'm going to save it and in my case I'm saving my work in a folder just like just like you should and um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, go back to my my plan and my plan in my case is on the desktop of my computer you should be in your in your file folder and um, It should be in a chapter four folder. Here it is, Chief Plateau Estates Model One. And then um, we're gonna wanna open up the um, Model One plan. I think that's the right one. Yes, okay. So this is where we were the, the last time and we finished our exterior wall dimensions. So um, what it does a little bit is it talks about the way that dimensions are done in um, in architecture, and there's a good visual uh, picture on page 167 of uh, when you're building or constructing a house. You'll see that there's a floor and then there's walls, and walls are made out of two by four pieces of wood that are referred to as studs, S-T-U-D-S. And um, even though they're called two by fours, their actual dimensions aren't really two by four. They used to be at one point in, in um, over the years, they kind of shrunk them down. So, actual two by fours at this point are one and a half by three and a half, and then um, they get covered by stuff called sheetrock or also gypsum board is another word for it, and um, that's about a, typically five eighths of an inch or a half of an inch thick. So your interior walls are typically about four and a half inches thick, and um, that's something it talks about. And there's also a good visual on page 166 that refers to, you know, the way that the wall is actually constructed. The next thing it wants you to do is um, kind of a file management thing. It has nothing to do with building this house exactly, but you're going to go to go to your preferences, and in your preferences, in your general tab, it goes to file management. And what they're talking about here is there should be a little sub menu that shows you you know your recent files and shows you a maximum of A, and it and it talks about how um, you can either show it as sub menu or you can uncheck that and not show it as a sub menu. So um, we're just going to leave it as OK and that's just something else that they wanted to point out to you. Our next uh, part is to actually start beginning drawing walls. So we are going to um, begin with a wall, an interior wall. So we get on our walls over here on the left side, and I'm going to go straight interior wall. We've only been using exterior walls so far in this lesson. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, go straight down from this section. From this wall, and I'm going to go about 11 feet. We'll fix it later, but about 11 feet. Looks like we got it on 11 feet, and then we're going to make a second wall that goes straight across here and connects there. Next, uh, we're going to um, complete some other interior walls based upon the the visual they give you on page 169. So you're going to be on our, on your interior walls. And you're simply going to um, just kind of divide space here. And we'll be doing dimensions later. But I'm going to go right there. They have actual labels on the rooms, which we'll be putting a little, a little bit later. And uh, there's a wall that goes, looks like, straight across from here to here. And uh, one that comes straight down a little bit past. You just kind of have to estimate right now because we're not putting dimensions. Past here, and then we have um, a laundry room right about there, and you have stairs goes a little bit ahead of this to there, and then straight across here and extending a little bit. Our next step here in this um, process is we're going to um, add a couple walls. 
had a couple more walls. We're up here in this corner of the building. And it looks like we're going to add several walls. You can see the picture on page 170 and page 171. And it looks like uh, what we'll be doing is adding a wall right here. And then one right here and here. And in this space right here, we're going to divide it. We're coming straight down. And small area right there. And everything else looks uh, like it's supposed to at this point. Our next course of action here is that we're going to uh, be creating some auto exterior dimensions, which you've done this before, but that's simply um, up here on the top of the screen. Select auto exterior dimensions, and very quickly, it will create a um, set of dimensions for you that um, you can see. And then uh, what you're going to be doing with those is adjusting them so that it, your dimensions will match up with the ones on the um, screen. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, zoom in on a corner of a wall just to see how dimensions work. And actually what it asks you to do is I usually zoom by scrolling in with the middle mouse wheel, which I believe is the easiest, and also panning by pushing that button down. I can move around. But in this particular case, they want you to use the zoom tool. So that's up in the upper right-hand corner. And we just make a window around what we want to look at. And one of the things uh, that you see is where the, these lines right here, these lines are referred to as extension lines, and they're part of the dimensions. And they just show it. This is where the dimension stops. And you'll notice that it lines up with the, the framing layer of the plan because that's the most important layer as far as construction goes that, that you'll need to lay out the, the studs of your wall also um, want you to go back and as you've seen that will fill the window and that's just kind of like zooming out on the um, on the entire plan and now we can see all of it there. We'll zoom out to all the walls that are included. Our next course of action is to um, look at the way that the auto exterior dimensions are done so we're just going to edit our preferences. Go, go up to edit and in default settings and then we're going to choose dimension and auto exterior dimensions and edit them and what we want to go to is our locate objects and right where it says walls um, it says wall dimension layer and what we want to do is we want to select the button for surfaces and we also want to check both wall sides and we're going to uncheck the box for what we had on wall dimension layer and interior wall surfaces and then we're just going to click OK and click done and um, we basically chose that we'll be um, changing where the actual um, dimensions will line up now and you see now before they were on the um, actually they didn't change on the same thing let me look at something. Well, we have to redimension. We have to redimension it. It doesn't automatically do it. So off it is. Click on auto exterior dimension again, and you see that our dimensions change because it goes to. It's going to a different point now. It's going to the outside of the wall instead of the inside of the wall, and um, that will change things up a little bit. Okay, that was just kind of a learning experience seeing the way we did our dimensions and the way that the program will locate them and um, now we're going to change them again change our rules again so we're going to go to edit our default settings once again go into dimension and auto exterior dimensions and edit and what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to go to locate objects again and in the wall section we're going to select wall dimension layer that's what we had before if you remember and we're going to click OK. And hit Done again. And we'll redimension again by clicking Auto Exterior Dimensions. And you notice it looks different now. So now we have um, the lines going to different, different points. And 
because we now we're on the wall dimension layer and no longer on the uh, the object layer. So um, that's that's basically um, some of the different options you have in other exterior dimensions. Next, we're gonna uh, it wants you to show the line weight. So that's over here on the right side, right where the zoom was. You just keep on going down and you click show line weights and you click it. And what that'll do is, it's more of a print feature where it'll show you, like, when you print this out, this is how thick these lines will be compared to others. You saw that it changed, and if I do that again, you'll notice some things get thicker, some things stay the same. So we're going to show line weights, and then we're going to fill the window. And now we can see the overall um, plan. At this point, we are kind of midway through page 175, and I'm going to cut this video off so it doesn't get too long, and we'll be beginning in the next video on page 175, midway through the page.